I'm not asking you to call this woman guilty or innocent, but do you think it should be investigated that there's public mischief here? I, I said as much yesterday, Ezra. Um, I was very surprised that the uh, Toronto Police Service issued a statement saying the investigation is over just like that. Um, there, there's obviously more to this. You, you can tell, and just because we're having this conversation, uh, there was a level of orchestration here that just doesn't make sense uh, for the sequence of events to uh, to be as they were described. Yeah. And I'm sure that's one of the reasons that the police came to the conclusion that they did. But, and, and certainly uh, the girl is too young to, to charge, even though clearly she, she, she lied. And in what also appeared to me to be almost uh, very structured and very, dare I say, rehearsed, yeah. you know, clearly somebody was co coaching her. Yeah, uh, it really did seem rehearsed, especially when her lines about, I, I really, my heart goes out, who is this man, why is, like, the, I, I forget the exact words she used. They did not sound like an 11-year-old's wor words. They sounded like a 40-year-old's words. Well, and, go ahead. Exactly. Children, children at that age, Ezra, you know, as you know, that they're, the world revolves around them. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and they are not concerned about their fellow man and what happened or why is this happening. Yeah. It's all about what happened to me. I mean, for God's sake, uh, somebody tweeted at me yesterday, said the average 11-year-old girl is still crying an hour after she skins her knee skipping. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, 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 to have her up and, and say the things that she was saying and to... to uh, in front of the assembled media, and if you saw that one shot from um, over her shoulder, uh, looking at the media, and, the, and the, how many there were there, yeah, you know, I, I, it just none of it made sense to me. It all sounded too orchestrated, too uh, too scripted to be true. Yeah. And and my obviously my uh, my sixth sense told me that it was uh, it was a made up thing. Um, and then when I started seeing all of the prepared statements being released by the mayor, by the premier of Ontario, by uh, the defense minister, that one really set me off. Yeah. Uh, that's actually where I started tweeting it was after he, uh, after the defense minister said what he did, especially because he's an ex-Vancouver police officer. I mean, his, his warning bell should have been going off just in the same way mine were. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.